Hello and welcome to another RFMS Tip of the Week. My name is RJ Peterson. I'm filling in for Joey this week. And the topic for this week's Tip of the Week is my flooring link in RFMS. So this tip is going to apply primarily to our customers that use the Clover Connect or Card Connect feature that connects RFMS to our credit card processor, Clover Connect. This is the My Flooring Link addition to RFMS Core. So My Flooring Link has been added to order entry. Well, what does that mean for you? Well, Clover Connect customers uh, will now have a new button in both quotes and orders that allows you to generate a My Flooring Link right inside of RFMS Core, much like you could do in RFMS Mobile or Measure Mobile or CRM if you're using one of our mobile apps. You can use the button to send a link to your customers, or you can use it to take payments internally at the store. If you're not a current Clover Connect customer, you can contact your CSM or visit rfms.com to learn more. Let's take a look at this new button in action. So we start here inside of RFMS order entry, and I have customer order selected. Let's go ahead and find an order that we want to generate a link for. Here's an order for Mickey Mouse. I'm going to use the My Flooring Link button over here in the upper right hand corner. When I go ahead and click on that, that is going to open up my default web browser to generate a link for me to use. Now this works just like it does in RFMS Mobile, CRM, Measure Mobile. Um, so if you're familiar with that process, you already know what to do from here. Uh, but for those of you that maybe aren't using the apps and are new to this, there is a share button up at the top right hand corner of your window. That allows you to generate a link and share to your customer. Below that, all of the check boxes represent the options that you have to present to your customer. So if I want to request payment perhaps, maybe that they approve or sign the document as well that I'm generating. Um, I could show areas, other information. I could turn things on and off um, as I wish, add terms and conditions and so on. Then if I go ahead and hit the share button, that opens up a new window for me to email this to my customer or I can copy the link to the clipboard and then send this out to them via uh, my own email or if I was gonna text it to them or do something else, I could copy that link and send it a different way. The other way that you can use the My Flooring link is to use the green pay button down at the bottom. This allows you to process a card not present transaction right through order entry. I simply hit the green pay button and that allows me to indicate the amount that I want to pay. I can then use a token if the customer has a token on file, a previously used card, or I can do a new card number as well. Let's go ahead and type in a card number. So let's say that the customer was phoning in a payment and uh, we, wanted to, we wanted to go ahead and post that. This would be the steps that I could do. So I do have the option to remember the card for future use if I wanted to uh, add this to their account or profile. Um, if not, I can not select that box and then go ahead and hit pay now. This is gonna go ahead and process that payment the screen will refresh. You'll see the payment reflected here on the order. When you're all done, you just hit the X in the corner, that, and that's it. It's that simple. Just use the new My Flooring Link button in the upper right-hand corner. And remember, you can do two things, share the link or pay right in the browser. If you have any other questions, let us know, help at rfms.com. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our content so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.